Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa Cotter and today we're reviewing the Artex 72 set of watercolour pencils as well as their watercolour sketchbook. Full disclaimer before I start the review, I was actually sent these by Artex to give them a try and to review on my channel. But as with all my reviews, I'll be giving my own honest opinion. So let's get started. So as I said, Artex did send these to me and I was rather excited when I saw the advertisement for these because I just love their pencils and I just couldn't wait to try them. So here they are. So this is the box for the watercolor pencils and it is such a lovely design. Um, and it says Artex 72 colors, watercolor colored pencils. Now it does say down here, high color saturation, fine and clean pigments, nice water soluble effect. So, and then again, the Artex and on the side it has that beautiful design. And on the back, it actually has a swatch chart of all the pencils here. And of course it says 72 and the watercolors. Now these pencils are numbered. So they are not named on the actual pencil, but they are numbered. And that is a really nice swatch chart there. So let's open them up and have a look, shall we? So it opens just like this, really simply. And I'll just put the box over here. And it comes like this, like look at all those colours. Now it does come with a swatch chart, which I'll just take out of here, because I just keep them out here. Now I have swatched them out, so we'll have a look at that shortly. It came with a paintbrush. I haven't tried this out yet. Um, I was leaving it for the review, so we'll have a look at that shortly as well. And I'll just pop this over here. and. It opens up as you can see and easily um, so I think the holder is really really good um, sits on the desk fits in the small cut spot so it doesn't take up a lot of room and overall a lovely start to the pencils so let's take a look at one of these beautiful pencils here look at those colors like a rainbow. We'll take a look at one. So I'll take a look at this orange one here. Now on the pencils it's actually gold so I'm not sure how well you'll see that but um, it does have the number here so it's AW150 for this one and then it has the code and it says made in China Artex. So it is more of a um, hexagon shape, this one. Um, I know their colour pencils are actually more of a smoother shape. And it is a dipped end. And that's what they look like there. So they look really, really nice. But they easily slip in. Now the holder itself, there is nothing in the bottom of this box to hold them in place so say you take a few out um, they will rattle around a bit but I found no problem putting them back and it is convenient just having this on my desk while I'm doing my work so that was really convenient but first I thought we'd look at the swatch chart so let's put the pencils over here and it comes with a lovely swatch chart now this is a hot pressed paper swatch chart which means the paper's more smoother and again it says watercolour pencil 72 colours and Artex and with this it actually has a spot where you can put your dry up here and the wet here. So I went ahead and swatched that out so it wouldn't take too long on channel and I just really love the colours. They were really nice. Um, I like the thickness of this paper. 
so it's a really nice thickness and it has a little pattern that matches the box now what I like is you can actually pop this back in with the pencils and keep your swatch chart nice and handy so we'll just put this over here because I have actually swatched these out as well um, so I'll move these just here I have swatched this out fully so we can see them bigger um, in my own so this is hot press paper um, I think I use Fabriana here for this one and this is my own swatch chart so as you can see these are all the beautiful colors and I started off with mine and I started off dry and then wet towards the end um, just so I can see both on that swatch chart but I actually kept the swatch just as it was on their own swatch chart and just went with the numbers. Um, so as you can see, there's a wide range of colors there. And to be honest, looking at all the range, um, there is nothing really missing from this set of pencils. For a 72 set, they're really, really well done. So, so you've got the white, and going through to the yellows here nice range of yellows going to the oranges and then a peachy flesh tone there going into the pinks and then the reds and going into these sort of like a purpley red and then there's the blues of course and then going into some more um, purpley pink tonish there going to the purples and then you've got a lovely range of greens there, which I can't complain with all of them. They're beautiful. And your browns and nice range of greys and a black. So overall, I really think this is a well set out set of watercolour pencils. Um, I found them to be really nice, especially on this paper. And I had no problem using them. But if we go back to this watch chart, we can have a look at some of the names. So this one here actually has the pencil number as well as the name. So you've got here AW001 is white. And then the next one is AW102, light apricot yellow. And then it's got, of course, the Chinese writing for that as well. Um, but the colors are really lovely. Like I love these emerald colours here and this one is one of my favourites, the turquoise here is really really nice. I love the ranges of pink, especially that peach pink, AW204, that's really really nice. Um, really lovely set of pencils. So I thought we'd have a look now at the little um, watercolour journal. And so this came here. Now it matches the box really well. It looks really nice. And it has sort of this goldish tone. Now this has 20 pages in it. It is um, 300 GSM, 100% um, cotton, and it is a hot press. So we'll go and have a look because I've drawn a few things in here already. Um, so the paper is pure white, so when you compare that, it's really white, um, it isn't cream, and it does have this edging here, so you can actually pull pages out, um, which you could take a page out and put in a card, or maybe put into your journal, um, but it is a nice size. So let's take a look at the paintbrush. Now I did unwrap this, so I wouldn't make too much noise. But it says Artex and um, it's a rounded brush here. It's got a nice point on it. So we'll be using this very shortly. So I believe these pencils can be purchased in smaller sets as well. Um, they can be found on the Artex's website as well as Amazon um, and also AliExpress. So that's where you can actually find them. I will put a link in the description below where you can actually find them. 
So first off, I thought we'd actually um, do a few tests on these watercolour pencils to show you how they work. Now I'll just put this swatch chart away and we'll grab a couple of colours. So here I've got just a piece of hot press watercolour paper and I'll take this very vibrant red here. So this is AW251. Now I can say the gold writing is much easier to see and it's actually a bigger writing there which is really good. So the first thing I want to actually look at is how well does these dissolve with water? So I want to do just a bit of a line here and let's see how well they d dissolve. Do they leave pencil lines behind or are we going to be pretty good here? Now I have a little pot of water here and I have this little sponge here. So I'll just open it. Now I've just moistened that down and we've got the paintbrush here. So what I like to do is wet this. I don't want it too wet, so this is probably too wet, but I just wipe it off on my sponge so it's not too wet. So we're gonna dissolve this. And look how vibrant that color is. It's really lovely. And as you can see, it pretty much is, now we might wet that again. It is dissolving that color really, really well. Because you don't want pencil lines when you're using watercolor pencils, unless you're gonna use them dry, or if it's an effect you really want to put down. But as you can see, that's really dissolving. So have a look up close. And as you can see, that's totally dissolved there. And it's really nice. It hasn't um, done too bad at all. So we'll just wipe that aside. Now the next test I wanted to see is how far we can actually take just a little bit of color. So we'll just put that red again down. It's a very nice red. And how far can we take that and drag it along? So again, wetting my brush. You don't need a lot of water, but I wanna drag that around. Let's see how far it'll go. So we'll get it again. And as you can see, it drags pretty well. It goes from dark to pale which is really good. And that's how it looks like that. Now, the next one is, I'm just gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna get a couple more colors to go with that. So I might do a bit of uh, some different colors here. So I've got the red here. We'll do Christmas colors since it's Christmas time. We'll do a nice green. So I've got a nice vibrant green here and we'll do that there next to it. Maybe a yellow or a gold there. We'll do those three colours today. And again, I'm going in, wipe that off. And as you can see, how bright and vibrant those colours are. Really nice colours there. I'm really impressed with them. Now, I wanna check now if we can lift color. So, let's 
do another red here and can I lift the color so we're gonna wet it and this time I'm not going to and that's a lot more water than I used on the others I'll wipe that off but now we're gonna actually can we lift it so can we take some of that pigment away And you can quite well so I'm pretty pleased with that so that's pretty good as well now another test I wanted to do now let's feel that's now they dry pretty quickly as well I wanted to see once we actually have them dry do they react again to water so let's take quite a there and let's see if any will react so they haven't really um, here they have slightly but it's a very pale pink so as you can see it's not too bad um, slightly react but as you can see there but overall I really like the fact that they do fully dissolve um, that's really good and of course I love the color that bright red is really nice so now I thought we'd actually see how they do with mixing them slightly so we're gonna go for the orange the red red orange and yellow so we'll go first off I'll Push this up here and we've got this red first off and then we'll do a bit of the orange back here and we'll start back here sort of a sunset sort of colors and let's see how they go naughty me leaving my brush in the water <laughs> but we'll go now as with any um, watercolor normally go from the lighter color and then go into the darker and let's see do they dissolve that water and what does that look like look how nice that looks and that is really nicely dissolved that's really nice so I really like that now there is other ways to use them um, I have noticed a lot of people do like to grate these up and use them similar to soft pastels. I personally do not like using them that way. Uh, another way is dipping your pencil into the water and then using them that way. Again, I'm not a fan of that. Um, so I won't be doing that. Um, but I know some people do. Now, if you don't have a paintbrush, a lot of people do use water brushes. So this is a water brush, so um, very well used one. This is the five point, and you just have a little bit of water. So again, these are um, easy to use, and you can pop that in the box as well if you're out traveling or you go on holidays. So there's easy ways to use them. But I thought we'd actually do a little Christmas image that I've actually sat and sketched out. So I did some little baubles. Now I'm not sure if you can see them properly, but I thought we'd do these in sort of Christmas colours with a bit of a blue background, very pale blue. 
background and I've already put the washi tape on so they're all set to go so I'm gonna pause the video get the colors out and get myself set up and then we'll do this on channel and I can give you my final thoughts of using them so let's go and have some fun so this is the little image I actually came up with um, some Christmas baubles I'm getting into the Christmas spirit here with this image and I thought this is a really good beginners one um, that others can do because all I've done is I've used this stencil here um, to make the circles I've done all different sizes here um, some underneath and some forward and just simple now this is something you could do on a Christmas card um, or just for fun over Christmas and great for watercolour pencils as well as watercolours. So I've picked out some colours here. So I've got some nice greens here, some reds as well as a blue for the background. So the blue is the 304, which we take this one here so it's easier to see that's that one there so it's a nice pale blue um, and then with the greens I have gone for the 514 the 521 as well as the 525 and the 575 and for the reds I've gone for the 206 which is this one just here the 240 which is just here, the 251 here, as well as this darker one, the 262. And then for the yellows, I've gone for, now I just totally forgotten what I've gone for. I've done the 108, and I think this yellow one was the one, that one there, the 115. And then I've gone for a couple of the 125 in this darker color. And then I've also gone for the 150, which is there. So four of each. And of course we could have done more colors, but I thought we'd just keep it simple. Um, very simple palette there and what I'm going to do is the line here of the string, I will do that in fine liner once this is all dry. So let's get started. So of course I've got my pot of water here. I've got my sponge to wipe off my brush from the excess colors. And whoops, sorry, bang, bang in the, the phone here. And I'm holding it open with this here, this little twang here, but this can be easily done. So first off, we'll start off with the pencils. So for first, we'd actually go with the, the pink. Now I have sharpened these slightly. I haven't over sharpened. Um, so we're just gonna go around the edge here because I don't want to, I wanna leave some of that white to act as if it was a highlight. So I wanna go around that and then leave sort of a highlight sort of area. And then as with any pencil blending, I do a circular motion. And then we're gonna go a bit darker here with that. Sorry about the noise in the background. My children are still up. And then we'll go to the second, which is the 240, which is the red we used in the original testing. So what I like to do is go over a little bit of that light and into the darker one. So it sort of blends a little bit. And then we're gonna go into the, this one is the 251. I go right over that and go around the edges. Now I haven't lightened this with an, an eraser um, just because it's harder to see 
um, for you all on channel but usually if I was going to do this I would um, of course go around and um, darken this up so I'm going to put a little bit of this red here around there and then for a darker highlight I'm going to go around with this one here which is two, 262 so just do that around there and just around the edge so that's the red one and then we'll go in with the yellow I think so again starting out with the lighter colors now you can do it dark to light it doesn't really matter going into that top bit there now I'm saying this is sort of like a gold tone I'm not sure about you but a lot of trees over here are all when I do my decorating it's usually red green and white or red green and white and gold this year I actually went for uh, a rose sort of pink gold which is really pretty and different and then again for the darker one which I actually forgot to do a little bit there so as, as you can see I have left quite a bit of highlight there and then we go in with this one here so right around the edge there so what I like to do is actually do the actual one here around that edge going right into the bottom here as if it's a shadow And then we're going to go with this darker orange just to add that darkness. So you could do a brown um, if you really wanted to. But I think that looks really nice. And now we'll start with the actual green one. So the green one's up here. So again, starting with the lightest. And I have been using these on something which you'll have to wait until I do my finished pages because um, I have actually used this on a colouring page and it was a lot of fun so again leaving some white as if it's a highlight so of course the light's coming from that way and hitting there and then we go to the next colour which is then we go to the next one which is the 525 and do that one there again doing little circles And then the dark one here, which is two, is 575. And going into there a bit. So that's that one. Now, as I said, I did want to do sort of like a light blue background. So we're going to go with the 304. And I don't want to over do it I just want it so it's just a little bit of color um, so I'm only going to do a very faint here with these with this color um, and of course in little places because you can actually drag the paper of um, the color along so I thought if we do darker up here going down lighter it would look really good just get 
ngoài but I'm really impressed by the color range in this 72 set um, there's not one color I don't like out of the full set um, I can't wait to show you what I've been working on I think it looks really nice and um, they've been really enjoyable to use. So we'll just do a little bit down here. <laughs> now I'm still doing those round circles, but I'm doing them bigger. So, but as with watercolors, because this will totally dissolve, you don't have to worry as much. Now I could have used left this blank, but I wanted to see how they they reacted being as a background. So when I go for sort of this light going into the dark, just do a more harder up here than you do down here. So that gradient feel with just one pencil. You can use more than one blue. I just went for this because I thought it'd be easier. And I'm still doing those circles, so. But I have actually drawn another image as well in this book. So what I thought I'd do later in this week, I would actually um, do that on channel, colour it in channel, so you can actually watch me do it so that would be a separate video than this one so there you go we've actually done this so it's actually based on my snowman image um one of the wood slices i did so now we'll get and um work with the water so i'll put these pencils up here slightly um so they don't get in the way and now I've got the water, I've got the paintbrush, I've got the sponge, which I can put just here, and we're ready to go. So I'm actually going to do the baubles first, um, I thought. So we'll be working from light through to the dark. So that's the easiest way to work. And that way we won't sort of mess up the light area here. Now I have kept a little bit of the white of the paper to do as a highlight but you can actually use white gel pen or a paint pen acrylic paint pen in white for that so let's get started so I'm just going to wet my brush slightly and then dab off the excess water we don't want to overdo it because here I just want to work very carefully on getting that highlight still and now as you saw in the test I could lift that color as well so I'm going to drag a bit of that darkness to get the outline of the actual bauble and then we'll go over to the darker area here look how bright that is So that's totally there done and that's really nice but you can lift the color we want to take away that harsh edge and that's the important thing so there you go we've done that and just blend it in slightly and I'm really pleased with that there again wetting your brush off so we'll do the the red one again and going into the, the lightest part and going around, making sure we keep to the round shape that we made with the lead pencil. So I just used my 2H pencil. Um, I'd like to do that in a lighter color. Um, and as Normally, I would have used a kneadable eraser to lighten my lines, but for this review, I thought we'd 
leave it. So we're gonna go the little top up there. But overall, let's get a bit of that light color in there and lift some of that color out. Just adding a little bit more water. You don't want it to sort of spread that, but as you can see, that lightens it up a bit as well. So that's that there. I might go in a little bit to that white because I've sort of done it a very harsh line. But that's there. And now we'll actually go in with the yellows. So again, starting at the light. going around that we don't want to have too much of a harsh line and then going into there so I really love watercolors I find them a lot of fun but look how lovely that dissolves it's really lovely so I'll show you up close once I'm finished Yellows are really nice as well. Going into that lot there. And then dragging that darker colour around a bit. Now we'll do the greens. And I love the greens. Look at that colour. It's sort of like an aqua colour. It's my favourite. <laughs> I've been using it a lot. So the greens are the combination I've been using <laughs> and the reds there. And then the top there. But yeah, what fascinates me is the unpredictability with watercolors. You just don't know how it's gonna go. Um, I just like, I like how different it is and I find it very relaxing so these are real fun oops go around a bit but that one I went over a bit doesn't matter <laughs> so that is the bauble, so I will show you that before we go in and actually do the background. Um, this one's still quite damp, so we'll be very careful going around that one because um, it can spread into that background. So with the background, I'm just doing it very lightly. Um, I want it sort of like a nice light background. And this is such a nice blue. So instead of going right up to the bauble, I'm just going around. So now, so far, using this lovely little journal here, it hasn't warped at all, which is really nice. Um, I haven't had to stick it down. It has, it does sit up because of, but um, that is not due to the paper that is just because I've got the actual sticky there we'll actually test the washi tape coming off it and see how it goes but look how the background's nicely done and you just drag that color around because I want the baubles to be sort of like the main event I'm definitely getting into the Christmas crafts. Um, I wasn't feeling it at first, but I'm, I'm getting there now. Now that I've put my Christmas tree up, 
I'm starting to feel a little Christmassy. <laughs> and I'm extremely jealous of people that have a, a white Christmas because I've never seen snow and we don't get snow where I'm at. We have a very dry heat and it gets up to 40 over summer. And um, so we have a nice summery Christmas. And a lot of people go to the beach and enjoy that. I like to stay indoors under the air conditioner, to be honest. <laughs> Summer's not for me. <laughs> so that is all the background dissolved. See there, that is all dissolved there, and this is still wet. So what I'll do is, once this is dry, which I'll just pause the video for a minute, and when it's dry, I'll actually come in and do that line with just some marker, um, and do a bit of an outline around the baubles, and then we can add some gel pen and then I'll tell you my thoughts. So I went ahead and actually did the line outline here and the string and I used the Fabricastel pit pen um, that's in a 03 size in the brown and I'm just going to add a little bit extra highlights with the Secura Jelly Roll number 10. This is my normal one that I use. Um, just to add a bit of brightness because do a bit of extra light here But as you can see, leaving a bit of a light there is really good. Now you can use acrylic paint pens, or I'm just using this jelly roll. But this is a real simple way to make a nice card for someone, or just to do some fun. You can add some splatters and some gold to this. Um, you can really make it however you want. So that's how it looks there. Now, before we go, let's test how well this washi tape did. Now I used a rather thin washi tape. So it was this thin, it was really tiny. And let's see, does it come off easy? Now, as with washi tape, I do put it on my clothes first to get a bit of lint so it doesn't totally um, wreck the paper. So I find if you add there and just keep going along. And usually it's pretty lucky. Sometimes I've had where, not in this journal, but others I've had where it actually tears the paper. So it's really nice to see that it doesn't tear. Put it here. And that is a very simple page you can do in a journal and for Christmas and you can make it as Christmassy as you want add some sparkles so finishing thoughts on the Artex's 72 set of watercolor pencils I really love the container it came in not only is this attractive it's really small doesn't take up a lot of room on my desk and it looks fantastic on my desk. I like the fact that I can open it up, keep it open while I'm actually doing my work and take out the pencils I need one by one. Um, that works really well for me. But look at those colours. They are just so pretty. I like the fact too that the writing is bigger and that it is bigger in gold 
so you can see it a lot easier. Um, I'll put them over there. The colour range is just amazing. Um, I'm really impressed with this colour range. And I don't think there's one colour lacking. Really beautiful colours there. Um, I like the fact that you can use them dry as well as wet. Um, they fully dissolved with water, which is what I'm looking for with watercolour pencils. And I had no problem using them. So when I sharpened them, I had no breaks at all. And um, they went on the paper really, really well. So overall, I'm really impressed. So the journal itself, the watercolour journal, was a pleasure to use as well. I love that size and I love the pattern. It looks fantastic. And the size, perfect. Um, nice for doing a little bit of art here and there. And not too big. I like that you can actually tear a page out without having to rip that out. Um, I, the paper didn't warp. My washi tape didn't rip the paper. It was really nice and the colours look really, really lovely on them. So I was really impressed. So thank you so much Artex for sending me these beautiful watercolour pencils to try out. I really enjoyed my time trying them. Um, just love them. So thank you so much. And to my viewers, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little review as well as my demonstration on actually using them and if you liked my video why not hit like and subscribe and come back soon for more reviews and art and coloring